What is this madness you can see before you? This is, hopefully you can in fact see me now, this is a little introduction to the latest phase in my meddling with Teslas. I have gone and bought some more. Uh, <laughs> the first one, which I became moderately famous for arguing with Tesla about, having fixed it and then having told me I wasn't really allowed to use it. Um, that first one was meant to be bought, repaired and sold because there's no way I could really afford or justify especially to keep one of those, but I ended up falling in love with it. And perhaps more importantly, my partner, she adores driving it as well, so she wasn't quite so on my back for me to move it on. So given that we um, didn't have one to sell, figured why not get another one to sell? So we bought another one that was more or less the same, more or less the same damage, so it had a crash on the right rear. And um, that is currently in the panel shop in Australia, getting fixed, and that one will be for sale most likely in Australia, although it was a repairable write-off, so it can get registered again in Canberra in Australia, if anybody, oh, I said that wrong, didn't I? It will most likely be for sale in New Zealand, but if anybody in Australia wants it, it can be registered in Canberra, I think. Um, yeah, so that one is going to be a car for sale, a lovely little S75D, 2017. Then also the madness that, <coughs> you've seen enough of my ugly face, that there, that was an S75 not D, so a single motor car. Um, I'm in the process of stripping that out and getting all the useful things out of it, so I'll find out what market there is for Tesla parts in New Zealand. Um, I know there's a good market for batteries and battery modules and I'll soon have both for sale. So yeah, that'll be hopefully turn Teslas into income, not outgoings. And then this one here, this is a P100D that I believe somebody either borrowing it from Tesla in Australia or maybe even someone from Tesla Australia drove forwards quite hard into something while in ludicrous mode. Um, that one is waiting for a good body so that we can transfer all of the fast and nice bits into it, into the good body and make it run again. So yeah, it's a perfect, not perfect, not perfect at all. Um, it's very good mechanically, however, it's um, very munted. So yeah, there is hopefully a flooded Tesla coming on over for us to rebuild this into. So the flooded car, basically to comply with New Zealand rules to get a flooded car on the road, I have to change every single piece of electronics and electric. So I've got to get right down and change all the loom and everything. So that's going to be a massive job. Maybe not worth it, depending on how much parts go for, but yes, that's... Um, that's another part of the project. And yeah, to show how much the uh, my partner is liking the Tesla, she relegated me to the Nissan Leaf today. So this is the workhorse. So in summary, rather than um, learning my lesson from my pain with my first Tesla, I've come back for more. So I'm getting one fixed to sell over in Australia. That's an S75. D 2017. I've got this S70 single motor for parts and I've got this P100D to hopefully go into a flooded P100D and make just, you know, <laughs> the fastest car, you know, just, just that's all there is. So yeah, I've got some good for, good times ahead of me. Although this is the start of the project, uh, this is the introduction video, I've spent quite a while taking this apart. Um, I've done a couple of videos already explaining my progress. If any of you want to see any particular things from inside of these Teslas while I'm taking them apart, flick me a comment and I'll see what I can do to help. Anyhow, yep. Yeah. Hope you um, enjoy my journey.